Would you get into a cab that has no driver? Well, that's what Tesla boss Elon Musk is betting on as he unveils his latest project. The firm's long-awaited cyber cab was revealed at an event in California on Thursday. The futuristic-looking vehicle features two wing-line doors and no pedals or steering wheels. At the event, Musk says he believes AI-powered vehicles will be safer than those driven by a human. But production on the cyber cab likely won't begin for another two years. So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to uns, unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. And, and you said, like, how often are, what, how many hours a week are cars used? Your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 100, 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. It'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll, we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from a, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000.